Hi and welcome. Uh, in this video, I will give an overview of six models which are used for threat modeling. And uh, these models include security development, life cycle, and stride. Uh, these both models are used by Microsoft. And then is the Dread and Vest and Trike and Pesta. Uh, and I will give overview of each model. Now the purpose of threat modeling is to identify the potential threats against your information assets and then to categorize these threats and to analyze these threats and so that you can prioritize uh, the resources allocation uh, to these threats based upon uh, the severity of the damage uh, they are potentially causing or will cause uh, to your assets. So first model is uh, the security development life cycle by uh, Microsoft and the purpose of this model is to uh, look for or cut for security at every stage of uh, system development. Therefore uh, the motto over here is uh, the SD3C that is secure by design or by de deployment or by default and also uh, by communication of a system. So uh, it covers two goals uh, that is to reduce the number of uh, defects in the design or coding of a system and uh, to reduce the severity of the remaining defects. And then the next uh, threat model or the uh, threat categorization scheme is uh, STRIDE and uh, STRIDE uh, stands for spoofing, tampering, repudiation, information disclosure denial of service and elevation of privileges. So goal over here is uh, uh, basically this categorization scheme look for the end objective or end goal of an, an attacker. Uh, for example, if the goal is uh, spoofing or it is tampering or it is uh, repudiation or denial of service or information disclosure or elevation of privileges. Uh, because uh, the technology changes with the time, uh, but this grouping of uh, threats remains constant over a period of time. So basically this stride uh, categorization scheme looks for application threats mainly, but it also uh, covers broadly the network uh, threats. So for example, in uh, spoofing categor uh, category of uh, threats, uh, we see the falsify MAC address or spoofing of IP or email address. And then tampering is to inject the false data in communication or uh, in the data address. Then repudiation is to deny any action on the system or, or over the network. And then the information disclosure uh, is the disclosure of proprietary or personal data for them or also uh, the information disclosure due to uh, debugging error for example, if debugging errors are giving a lot of information to the attacker. And then the denial of service to prevent the use of system by authorized user. For example, uh, a malware is used to flash the firmware of a system. And then elevation of privileges uh, category mainly handles with the threats uh, which targets uh, getting of additional uh, powers or for example uh, gaining access to the admin uh, account. The next threat modeling uh, is the DREAD and uh, DREAD basically is a subjective rating system or threat rating system. So you actually answer five questions about each threat and then uh, based upon the answer of these uh, questions you assign a rating uh, to the particular threat for example it is whether it is uh, high or medium or low uh, threat so that you can prioritize responses or allocate resources according uh, to the severity of the threats so these uh, five questions are first is the damage potential that is the severity of the threat then is the reproducibility of this threat that how many times or, or is it possible or how it is difficult or complex to reproduce the same threat multiple times and then the exploitability that how it is difficult 
how much it is difficult to exploit or to do uh, perform this uh, threat once and then the affected user of your company that how much percentage of the users in your company are affected by this threat and then the describability of uh, the vulnerability uh, which is causing this threat so how easy it is to discover this vulnerability then uh, next uh, threat modeling is uh, the vast or visual agile and simple threat modeling so basically it covers the agile uh, uh, or the threats against agile project management or agile programming so basically you integrate uh, the risk analysis or threat analysis into agile programming so uh, actually uh, one advantage of uh, this threat modeling is that it does not require subject matter expert to perform uh, this threat modeling the next uh, threat modeling is strike and basically uh, the focus or the objective of this threat modeling is auditing so basically the while performing the security audit from risk management perspective you perform this threat modeling and it also enhances the collaboration among uh, security workers or different stakeholders moreover uh, you actually set up an acceptable risk uh, criteria for each class of uh, assets uh, based upon the stakeholder input and therefore you can assign or you, uh, responses to each category of or each class of uh, threats uh, then the last uh, threat modeling is the PASTA or process for attack simulation and uh, threat analysis and it is risk centric and basically you adapt counter measures in relation to uh, the value of an asset and each uh, it is basically a seven stage uh, process for attack simulation and threat analysis and in each uh, stage there are specific objectives that you have to complete before moving on to the next phase so the first uh, phase is the definition of the objectives uh, for treatment of risk and then is the definition of the technical scope then the application decomposition and assertion where you decompose the application into different parts and it is also known as reduction analysis and then the fourth stage is the threat analysis and fifth one is the vulnerability analysis and uh, the sixth one is the attack modeling and simulation where you model uh, the attack how it is going to be performed or uh, the various components how they are going to interact uh, in this uh, threat modeling and then uh, final stage is the risk analysis and the management of this risk that how you are going to uh, manage the threats or the risk you have identified in the previous stages so this was all from my side uh, please stay connected to my channel for similar videos thank you